Hey friends, I'm back with another information video to share with you guys. So you know there are many laws and rules around the world. But today I'm going to show you some unusual and weird kind of like, okay, like kind of weird laws and rules around the world, like from different countries. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and give us a like button if you liked this video. Now let's get into it. So, number one, this rule is kind of difficult to follow, I'm not sure if they really follow it there. So, normally everyone has a home and a house or live in a building. There, there are light bulbs in each room. So, in the light bulb, when it's not working or when it's short circuiting, my dad tries to fix it, it like he takes it off and then puts a new one back in. But if it cannot fix that then he calls an electrician to come and fix it and then eventually it works so in australia in the most popular state there's a rule that says you cannot change a light bulb unless you have a license so in under the victorian law they have to like they can't change the light bulb unless they have a valid license or like they have to pay a fine of 10 australian dollars so that's kind of difficult. I'm not sure if they follow it there, but it doesn't affect anyone else's like country. However, the 1998 El Electricity Safety Act updated this law. A spokeswoman for Energy Safe Victoria said that while the, electric while the Electricity Safety Act makes it illegal to do your own electrical work if you're not licensed. So changing a light bulb and removing a plug from a so socket was specially ex ex exempted from this requirement under order in council G17. Now on to the next one. So every human, human being has an emotion. They can either be sad, mad or happy. So we always love each other, we always happy and stuff. But in Italy, this in the Milan in the city named Milan. They are required, it's a law to smile at all times except at funerals and hospitals or if your family being is sick. You have to smile at all times, that is very difficult. But it it's a like a um, law, so I think they follow it. But if my not, it doesn't affect anyone else, as I said in the first world. It doesn't affect any other country. They have to smile at all times. So it is a prescript by a city regulation from Austro-Hungarian times that was never repealed. So they had to smile for all time. That was a rule in Milan, Italy. So that was like a type of rule that they had there for their people. So as I said, they can only be sad or mad if they had a family member that was sick or if they were at a funeral or a hospital at a hospital so there's no excuse to be sad or mad that's the type of world they have over there so now let's go on to the next one so there's this other law in florida where they can't pass when it after 6 p.m on thursday this is like a law since 1800s but that was since then it was kind of forgotten it's like kind of weird so i don't think they follow this kind of rule anymore but we don't know why it became a rule or like why it became a law or like why it was ever made so this is kind of like a weird law i do not want to talk about this anymore this is kind of weird but this is not true <laughs> okay now on to the next one so at least everyone on earth has a, at least everyone has a pet but in Arizona, there's this rule that you cannot let a donkey sleep in a bathtub after 7 p.m. That's kind of a weird law. But there is this one time where someone in 1924, someone used that law as a donkey sleep in a bathtub. The town was flooded when a local dam broke and the donkey was washed a mile down the valley. The donkey survived, but it was like very, very lucky. But this flooded the whole like place so Arizona that's why it made that thing locals spent a lot of time and manpower to save the animal this law was passed shortly after so that's why they have that type of world that's really really yeah that's kind of weird but that's their law maybe they don't follow it maybe they do so yeah now on to the next last one so a lot of people own dogs and cats and other pets too but there's this law 
that people like in Turin, Italy, people have to walk their dogs three times a day. Three times a day. Like every single day, three times. Or else they, they find like they have to pay 500 euros. This is a lot. Italy is like considered an animal loving nation. And in many cities, three cats and like in many cities, three cats and protected by law. So this is really like a law that they use in Italy, another law in Italy. So yeah, to enforce the law, Turin police would rely largely on the help of tipsters stopping cruel treatment by neighbors. Turin has the most stri stringent animal protection rules in the country. They even ban fair grounds from giving away goldfish in bags. Cause that's not really like, they really love animals. So this is a great law. And yeah, this is kind of difficult to follow though. I'm not sure if they really follow it this time or like they still do. So yeah. So this is the last law and I hope you love this. So I hope you love this video. So I actually researched and went on the internet to find these like laws that they use around the world. So some of them, I'm not sure if they still follow them or like still don't, but like I'm happy to live in Canada because I'm okay with following these rules. I love Canada. So thank you for watching and I hope you loved this video again and enjoyed it. So don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and give us a like. Now, see you in the next video. Until then, bye.